Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. Let's continue with some uh, Leonardo. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. If you missed the uh, earlier stream, we are back again. Uh, we're going to try to finish off this uh, turtles piece. Today, as you can see here, we drew uh, do a Raphael, a Donatello, Michelangelo. We are trying to do a picture very similar to this, okay? But in my style, in my style, and we're going to keep going again, guys. So once again, I'm going to say, if you want to ask me a question, that I will answer during the stream here. Don't do it in the live chat. Though it is great to see everybody in the live chat. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you want me to guarantee, ask your, uh, answer your question, head over to the community chat. Okay, so this is community chat. These are everyone's uh, writing their comments here. If uh, you go again to my channel, go to my channel here, head over to community. Make sure you hit community here. Community. The one right here, this comment here, this is where you ask your questions and I will answer them the best I can. You guys are the best. Okay, let's get going. Let's get going here. I'm going to click that and then let's get going, guys. All righty. All righty. So let me uh, find out where we left off. And thank you again, everybody in the um, in the chat. And thank you for everyone who's new. And thank you uh, to all of you for your um, for your support. Okay. And we've been going live for almost two weeks now. Almost two weeks. I believe it was a, a Tuesday. Tuesday would be two weeks. And uh, so far, so good. Having a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun doing it. Okay, so. The next question comes from... Uh, Mihail Kavar. I think that's how you say it. My apologies if I say your name wrong. Mihail Kavar says, Do you recommend trying to make a business selling your art while preparing for art school? Would it slow down your progress? Well, look. Here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It depends. Do you need the money or not? Time is time. At the end of the day, time is time. Okay? If you need the money, well, it's better than working at McDonald's, right? If you need the money. And number two, two factors. If you need the money, number two, if somebody will actually buy your art. Because those are two things. It's nice to sell. Say you could sell your art, but nobody buys it. Nobody buys it. So that's the first question. Can your art actually sell? And number two, do you need the money? Do you need the money for art school? Of course, it doesn't hurt. I'm sure you're going to say it doesn't hurt and it shouldn't hurt. Do you need the money or it doesn't hurt? So again, time is time. Are you going to spend your time uh, working on the business when, you know, it's just a side thing? You just want to earn an extra few bucks. If that was the case, then I'd tell you maybe not. Maybe not do it. Okay, focus on trying to get better because the money will come. However... However, if however, if uh, you need the money, then you know, and and you know that's going to help you. Why not? Why not do it? Like again, as an artist, we have to learn business. We have no choice, unfortunately. And it's, again, it's the part I hate the most about uh, doing art for a living. It really is. It's the hard, it's the part I dread, which is. It's the part I dread, which is actually uh, selling the art, okay? It's the part I dread the most, selling the art. But it's part of it. It's part of the job, okay? So it's not because I'm scared of, the, you know, I, I hate negotiating. I really do. I don't like it, you know, because uh, I'm not very good at it. Now, again, my wife, she was she was a negotiator. She was the business person. She knew how to do that stuff. I was never really the best at it. So, uh, yeah. So, it's up to you. If, if you need the money. Now, would it hurt your development? It will, it will slow you down. There's no question about that. Because, again, time is time. Time you're working on building up a website, shipping out artwork. If you're able to sell it. Uh, you know, trying to get leads to, to sell your work. Of course, that's time. Of course, that's going to take away. Of course, that's going to take away from um, from you developing as an artist. Of course, it will be. Of course, it will because it's time. But if you need the money, you need the money. So what can you do? So really, that, that's a personal question, my friend. That's, a, that's up to you. If you need the money and your art will sell, go for it, my friend. Go for it. 
if you don't need the money, like for example, you're going to art school, I'm sure, you know, that's expensive, you know, art school is expensive, right? If you need the money, you need the money. But if you're able to pay for your whole art school and you're able just to concentrate on your work, then it's great. Now, I do say this, guys, all right? If you say to yourself, okay, I'm not going to sell my art because I'm going to concentrate on getting better. Great. Make sure that the time that you were going to set aside to sell your art, that you're actually using that to get better at art. Or else you might as well have just sold your art. If you took that extra time and just watch Netflix 24-7, like, I got time now. I'm not going to sell. I'm just, I, mean, I don't have time now. I don't have time now. Then you should, might have, should have just sold work. So if you say that you're going to, you know, you're going to, it's going to, you know, you're going to use that time instead to improve, use that time to improve. Not play video games, not, not watch Netflix. Okay. If you say you're going to save all this time, then actually use that time. It's just like me, for example. I, I hired guys. So, for example, I hired guys to do editing, to do all of these things. Okay? That doesn't mean I get to take a vacation. That doesn't mean I get to now go and relax upstairs, you know. Those guys are working hard away. Now I, get, I personally get to relax and just watch TV. No, I have to work just as hard, if not harder... Uh, and use the time that I saved myself by paying these guys to do the editing. Okay? So, in fact, I have to work just as hard, if not harder. So, just make sure that if you do something to save time, that you actually use that time saved. Okay? That's the big difference. All right? But good luck to you, my friend. Good luck to you. And good luck in art school. I'm sure you're going to be fantastic. Uh, let's see here. I think I answered that already. Uh, Knight, uh, would you see your own take on designs for Marvel, Marvel DC Heroes? I believe I answered that already. Oh, I think I uh, I didn't. Uh, sorry, I have to sort this by newest. Okay, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I answered a little bit out of order. Just, just give me a second. Let's see here. Next question. Answer that. I answered that. So that's uh, here we go. Uh, Webmaster, please upload a new video. Yes, I did say yesterday I was going to upload a new video. Um, uh, things happened, and I wasn't able to put it out yesterday. Again, I'm not. I'm not too worried. I, I do. I have uh, low hopes uh, for this video because again, it's something new. But it's just something I wanted to do, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So we'll see if it comes out today. I, I actually doubt it. It's probably going to come out tomorrow. Okay. But uh, yes, you will see more regular videos coming out for me sooner than later, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Okay, next question here. Blade Runner says, Hey James, hope you're doing well. Can you draw GTA 5 players with Michael, Trevor, and Franklin in a Marvel style? Love you from the UK. I will hope to visit UK sooner than later. Uh, Blade Runner. Maybe. Again, maybe. That'd be fun. I don't play GTA 5. I, I know it's not the uh, most uh, PG friendly. But, uh, maybe, 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 my friend, maybe. Maybe. All right, next question here. Next question here from... Next question here from Rodak, my friend Rodak again. And hello, Igorano, good to see you. And again, thank you to everyone who joined in the live chat. Again, if you guys want to ask me a question, go to the community tab. Let's be answered. What do your necks look like? Some weird Venom type stuff. It's not Venom type stuff. It's veins, my friend. Veins. It's veins. Ah, because I think it looks cool. Again, what about everything I draw too, guys? You don't have to do that. You definitely don't have to do it. It's not your style. Just something I like to draw. So, there you go, Cybrass. What's your fav favorite manga? -ka? Yes, I don't really read manga. I don't. My kids like to read manga. They read manga all the time. You gotta be careful, though. You gotta be careful, though, with the manga. 
You got to make sure watch what your kids are watching because uh, there's uh, some uh, not so uh, PG manga out there. <laughs> Same with uh, TikTok, man. Same with uh, TikTok. Like my, my youngest daughter, she'd be even YouTube shorts because you don't know what's going to pop up in the YouTube shorts. And definitely, like if it's inappropriate and you watch it all the way through, they're going to send you nothing but inappropriate stuff. So you got to be careful uh, with that, especially when... Uh, well, being a dad like myself, I, that's something I got to be careful is like, I don't want them seeing things that they shouldn't be seeing at their age, you know? But that's what I'm noticing with the, uh, even the YouTube shorts, not just TikTok, but with the YouTube shorts, got to be careful. Keep, the, keep my uh, youngest daughter on uh, YouTube Kids. Okay, next question. Uh, Jira says, I mean, draw what's in your head. Nah. <laughs> I don't mean to uh, keep uh, shooting you down, Jira, but uh, nah, I don't want to. But shouldn't that be what drawing is? That's the fun part. Drawing what you want to draw as opposed to what's in my head. I get a lot of things in my head. Or else if that's the case, I'd just be drawing pictures of my wife over and over again. <laughs> Next question from ASIM0812. Where do you get your textures from when coloring? Uh, secret. Uh, when I color, and some of you do notice that I use textures, right? Uh, there are a bunch of royalty free sites that I use that I actually have licenses from. Um, That I used when I was matte painting. So whenever you see me color, guys, if I'm the one coloring it, it's not my buddy. Uh, well, even when um, my my good friend uh, Thomas Mason, when he when he colors stuff for me, sometimes I'll go over it and add some texture and stuff. When I add the texture, a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff I use, it's from a, uh, a royalty free, free site that I actually pay a subscription for. Okay. So that's what I do, and I use some uh, good old matte painting tricks. You know, I've been working on this industry. For nine years, might as well use a lot of the stuff I learned. Uh, the stuff I liked, anyway, uh, in my drawing. So why not? Next question from Cyber again. Do you have any tips on how to get out of creative blocks? Again, that's the toughest thing. Creative blocks are always hard. Uh, not really. Not really. If I knew that... I tell you, the person who really finds the, the definitive way to get out of creative blocks, they're going to be a very rich person. Maybe not that rich, but... How many artists are there in the world? But they would have a very good business. And I created blocks. So maybe you guys would have a better answer for that. How would you get out of a creative block? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments, right? Hey, Mario. Uh, let's see here. Next question. Michael Kelly. Good to see you again, my friend. Would you do bleach in a Marvel style? Yeah, of course I would. Of course, I would. like bleach is very popular, so I definitely consider it for sure. Definitely consider it. We'll see. I probably, I probably would do one piece though first before bleach. I would do one piece first, but uh, bleach definitely down the line. We'll see. Definitely. Okay, next question here. Uh, ASISM0812. Who's better? David Finch or Jim Lee? Well, you're talking about uh, like, uh, apples and oranges here, my friend. Very Well, I want, you know, very rendered style. And I won't say one's better than the other because they do, to, you know, two totally different situations that they're in. Of course, you know I love both of them. Well, yeah, and David's my friend. Uh, I think... 
both of them highly influenced my style. I think David uh, influenced my style way more than Jim, but both were high, big influence of my style. So I, I'm not going to answer that. I refuse. I refuse to answer that. I refuse. If you don't like it, wow. Then you don't like it. <laughs> Deadlines, yep. Uh, good solution for creative block. I talked about that before. But sometimes that's not enough, right? Sometimes deadlines isn't enough for creative block. Because when you want to say creative block, that doesn't necessarily mean not being able to draw. That could also mean you don't have the ideas. You don't know how to draw it. You don't know why to draw it. And if you have a creative block, even with a deadline, sometimes it's not enough. Right? So that's definitely... Uh, that's something to think about, okay? So again, guys, if you want, put your questions in the community tab. That's the best place to an for me to answer your questions, all right? Now. Look at this. Leo here. Leo's muscular, eh? L for Leo. Oh, for Leo. Your next question. It's a draw. There you go, Mario. It's a draw. There you go. From Rodak again. You are insane at drawing. They, I don't think so. But how, how do you? I don't know how you do this. This is again. This is years of experience, my friend. A lot of you guys are very, very young. Uh, you have a lot of time. Okay, and some of you are already better than I am. Easily better than I am. Okay, I'm just here having fun. That's all. Let's have a good time, guys. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Fun times. Fun times. Next question. Uh, Dexify always wants me to teach, Dex. Uh, there you go. How much does it average cost to pay a comic artist like you to teach? Um, I could give you guys my teaching salary. When I was in... Uh, what, I won't say which company, though. Uh, I've had a range of teaching salaries. Again, again, this is for like colleges. It's for colleges, but I was paid a good hundred dollars an hour to, to teach before. Very, you know, for not bad, not bad at all. But again, it was a very for a very specialized course, so not a lot of people could do it. You know, it's not it wasn't a regular Renaud de Mel drawing course. It was me, you know, with my visual effects experience. That's how much I was able to make with that job it was a really good uh, job until I wasn't qualified anymore to teach that job because everything I do is obsolete now but uh, that is what it is hi Bob how are you doing my friend uh, Bob says uh, Jim style is almost exclusively for superhero comics though his watercolor work gives him a little bit more flexibility for sure Bob and of course we see uh, David doing all those wonderful paintings now the acrylic paintings and all of that so Let's see here. Uh, next question. So Dexify, in terms of uh, getting a, a mentor, and which is what you're looking for, which is what you should look for. And I'm glad, uh, you know, you're really uh, gung ho and trying to find a mentor to help you personally. Personally, um, I'm not sure. I'm sure, like on Google, you can find a lot of people out there. But again, get someone experienced. If you're going to spend a lot of money to get mentoring, you better make sure that the person that you get is knows what they're talking about. Okay. Don't get some person who never worked in the industry before. Okay. I, I could see somebody like if you if you get a person to mentor you that hasn't worked in the industry you want, at the very least, if they were able to guide others, at the very least, if they were able to guide others to success, then maybe consider it. But if they haven't really done anything themselves, it's like you don't know, you don't know, like those um that's just like those uh what's it called? The um you know, I, I told you guys about the gurus that I listen to, motivational speakers. It's hard to listen to a motiv motivational speaker who's poor, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> or who's never created a business or isn't worth a lot of money. It's hard to listen to them, right? Because they could be saying the right things. They could give you, be giving you sound advice. But when they haven't done it themselves, you kind of look and you're like, I don't know. You know? You know what I mean? It's like, 
You want somebody who did it. You want somebody who has the proof, right? So I actually, I, I would even tell you guys that I personally am probably not the right person to coach you to get into comic books. I'm not the right guy to do it. Like David would definitely be the guy, right guy to do it. Right? A lot of these uh, comic book artists, like uh, uh, Brett here, like uh, a lot of it, right? See, David as a comic artist bootcamp. That's probably the best way to go. Like, don't follow me if you want to get in comics. Follow Dave. You want to talk about a guy who's done it all. Dave's the guy. So do that. I am definitely not... Because I haven't worked in comics since... Uh, oh, that's not true. Uh, I Last time I worked full-time in comics was 2016. Or sorry, 2016. 2006. And then afterwards, I, I did have a cup of coffee with, uh, with IDW. I did Transformers Dark Cybertron. I did that for about six months. And uh, I think it was that 2012? I think it was 2012. I did that. So, don't look to me. Look to me if you want to just have fun drawing on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Next question from Party Poison again. By the way, guys, again, if you want to ask me a question that I will guarantee to answer, go to the community tab, and I will answer your question. Again. Party Poison asks, what do you give your art points? Uh, Michaels. Uh, Strath um, there's Strathmore Bristol boards. The Strathmore Bristol boards, I, I enjoy using them. Uh, they're the closest I get to comic book art boards. Like Marvel and DC, they used to send you your art boards. They would send you the art boards because they would have the actual logo of Marvel and DC on them. And they're pretty cool. Uh, but Strathmore Bristol boards, they're the closest I find to uh, the ones you would see in a uh, you know, comic book setting. So, there you go. So, uh, where do I buy my boards now is Michael's. But the thing with Michael's is, you know, Michael's is very expensive. Here in Canada, Michael's is very expensive. I used to get my art boards at Cur a place called Curry's, but I mentioned the other day, if there's something wrong with Curry's, like these days, they, they just don't have any supplies. I think they, the pandemic really affected them. They lost a lot of money. And, uh, you know, every time I go there, they don't have what I want and what I need, including art boards. So it's like, I, it's a good place for paint now, but in terms of getting supplies for, for my type of drawings, uh, not really. So I, so I go to Michael's to get my, my artboards. Next question here. Uh, Enric Asraf says, will you draw Power Rangers in a model style? Maybe, maybe. I did kind of do that already. No, if you look up Power Rangers, box office artist, you'll see the Power Rangers drawing I did a while ago. Which actually Billy from Power Rangers, he commented on, he really liked it. I met, um, I met the Red Ranger. Um, what's the Red Ranger's name again? The original? Uh, Austin. Uh, help me out here, guys. You know the original Red Ranger? Who's that? The original Red, Red Ranger. It, it just slips in my mind right now, but maybe you guys can help. Austin St. James. Okay, Austin St. James. There you go. Yes. I met him in Singapore. Or not Singapore. I met him in, um, in Indonesia. So he was one of the big guests. Uh, her, him, and Deborah Ann Wall, they, like, they were the big celebrity guests. They didn't have that many. But they were the big celebrity guests. And me. <laughs> but I got to meet him. It was really cool meeting him. I gave him, uh, I gave him like a Power Ranger um, a, a print of Power Rangers. The Power Rangers that I did. A great guy. Didn't get a chance to meet Deborah Ann Wall, though. But uh, Deborah Ann Wall, if you don't know, she's playing Car she's uh, Karen in uh, Daredevil, which I don't think they're bringing her back. 
That kind of sucks. I, I kind of want a cure in there, you know? Also, part of me, it's like hard-pressed to think that her the fact her name is Karen is a reason she, they're not bringing her on the show. <laughs> I have a feeling that, you know, even a small part of it, right? But small part of it, but, you know, first to make a daredevil go with, uh, with She-Hulk now, right? But, but she has stated that uh, she's she wasn't invited to be a part of the Daredevil series, which kind of sucks, you know? Kind of sucks. Yes, uh, Bob. Yeah, that's right. The Yellow Ranger. Yes, uh, she she died a long time. That was a long time ago, too. It was a long, long time ago. Yeah, so. Okay, so next question, my friend. Next question. Uh, from L Lay Y Channel it says, "How do hi James? Who do you prefer, Leo or Donatello? And what's your favorite '80s cartoons?" Fun questions here. Uh, I'll go with. I was always a Leo fan, though I do like Donatello as well. I like all of them. I I know people treat Raph as like the Wolverine of of uh, of uh, the Turtles, but I, I'm definitely a, a Leo guy. I've always been a Leo guy. So, I gotta pick one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Leo. Just putting some texture on uh, this part here. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, she's also the uh, the voice for Kratos' wife. That's right. So that's that. I really hope she's in Daredevil. I, I really liked her in Daredevil. You know, the thing is, you, you know, when you're invited as guests to, to these cons, like uh, we're all staying at the same hotel, and then I see her. She's eating with a friend and part of you wants to go up to them and go hey hey how you doing nice I love you in here devil right you, you want to do that but at the same time they're eating they're like it's not their job time yet you know and you're like okay okay i, I stopped myself from going up and saying hi so i, I didn't actually meet her and you know uh, you know she probably wouldn't have uh you know she's not gonna turn me away or anything yeah i didn't want to bother her while she's eating breakfast So next question. Okay, so quite a kind of a few questions came in here. So let's uh, see here. Uh, from Gabriel Aisa. Gabriel Aisa says, "Hey James, my question is: Which hero from either Marvel, DC, or any anime do you think could hold their own against the Turtles? What you, then? The hero you choose must not have powers." Uh, I don't know, Batman? <laughs> Which I think they did, right? Didn't they do Batman versus the Turtles? Okay, they did Batman versus the Turtles. Uh, that, that requires too much brain power this time of the morning, my friend. <laughs> I don't want to think that much. <laughs> if you guys have an answer for that, let me know in the chat, okay? Sorry I couldn't give you a better answer to that, my friend. Just a uh, brain not working here. It is about almost 6 o'clock. We're coming up to 6 o'clock in the morning. On a Sunday, I thank you all for joining me uh, this morning, this evening. I assume a lot of you guys are up late if you are in North America. I uh, highly doubt uh, you, some of you woke up this early to stream with me in North America, but I know in all over the world that you're, you know, different time frames all over the world. So. Next question. From Igaretto, as a father, what are the few things that you wish you knew earlier? Oh, that's a nice question. Um, that's kind of hard to say because it's it's a learning process, right? Like you can read all the books you want, you can read all the you know you can take advice from all the parents you want. Every kid is different. Every kid has their own you know 
Everybody's different. You're different from me. I'm different from you. You guys are different from each other. Everyone grows up with their own personality. And... And I, I'm, I'm still trying to learn that. Like, for the... You know, my kids... I'm really proud of all of them. And, and uh, they're, you know... They grow up too fast. They grow up too fast. Like, my daughter's uh, turning... Uh, my daughter's turning 18 very shortly. And, uh, you know... Uh, to see her grow. Like, I, I was watching some old videos of her when she was like... Uh, when she was... I think she was must have been... What? Six... Or seven, you know, and just see how much she's grown since there, and how much she helps the family now. It's, it's really uh, heartwarming in that sense. So. That's uh, hard to say because every family's different. Every family's different. So, uh, if I were to give advice to some of you who may be new parents, like enjoy every minute, man, because it goes really fast. It really goes really, really, really fast. Okay, but I know a lot of you are the age of, are younger than my daughter, so. <laughs> So probably uh, you wouldn't uh, care. Segreto, what are your thoughts on fully digital art? Not AI, but Wake Up Appropriate. Awesome. It's amazing. There's some fan, fan, fantastic artists out there. Like uh, my, um, a lot of my friends, fully digital artists. Because this is really old school. What I'm doing here right now, a lot of artists don't draw this way anymore. Right? It's just us old comic guard that still draws in this manner. Like I would suggest to all of you guys too. Like, if you want to get into art, even if you want to get into comics, these days, yes, learn your skills through paper, but eventually time will come. You will need to learn how to draw the computer. You will. There's no way around it, even if you want to get into comics. There's no way around learning Photoshop. There's no way around, you know. Like even Procreate, if you're able to learn Procreate, you know, like all of those things. It's not even it's here to stay. It's here. It's just here. It's not going anywhere. And it can make you faster if you're able to control yourself. Wait, I'm able to control myself. Me, I need unlimited zoom. But if you can control yourself, it can make things faster. You can duplicate things. You could resize. You could fix. Like there's all things you could do in digital that you can't do traditionally. And... The only real reason I still do traditional is because I just love the feel of original art. I love that there is only one of these pieces in the world right now. That's it. And now with NFTs, those of you who are familiar with NFTs or not, uh, NFTs now with the digital art, like you can actually say that uh, this person owns this piece of art in NFT land. So a fully, this fully colored, somebody could own that as an NFT. And there's a record of somebody owning that as an NFT. So, but then again, crypto crashed like crazy. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not the guy to talk about that. So. so love digital art. Again, my, my best friends uh, in art, they're all doing digital art all doing fantastic stuff and it's here to stay and you guys need to learn it and i i am telling you right now too guys don't sleep on the ai stuff don't bury your head in the sand this is whether you consider it art or not and i see a lot of debate you see a lot of debate online right? we talked about this the other day but you know all that same debate and you know, we talked about the internet all that same debate came when people were doing digital art it was the exact same thing. Digital art is not real art. It's the exact same conversation. Okay? Now, whether you believe it's real art or not, that's up to you. But the people who are going to win are going to figure out how to incorporate it in their work. I really believe that. The people who are going to win uh, 15, 20 years from now. So when a lot of you guys get to my age, or you're younger than me still, the people are going to win are the people who figure out how to incorporate AI art into their own art or are able to do the AI, AI art. Either or. And like I said before, I don't think it's the original art market. So people who actually like art, collect art, that's that market's not going to be touched. All right. 
they don't have to worry about anything. The ones who have to worry are people who have clients. The, the ones who have to worry about something are the people who sell their art for commercial use. Those are the people who are going to have to worry. Because again, if they can make a movie poster just by saying, uh, hey, hey, Google. Oh, yeah, I should say, hey, Google. Off. Okay, power control. But you say, hey, uh, hey, interesting AI program. Make me a movie poster about Spider-Man and uh, and all these actors are in it and make it a really cool poster. And then two seconds, they have a poster ready to go. They don't care who the artist is. And then make sure AI that it's going to appeal to this, this age group. They don't care if it's an artist who did it or not. They don't care. All they care is that it was 10 times cheaper than if they were to hire an artist, you know? So don't don't dismiss it. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. Don't dismiss the AI art, okay? Don't dismiss it. It's not going away. As much as we don't want it to be here, just because we don't want it to be here doesn't mean that it's going to go away. Because business is about doing things cheaper, making a profit. If companies feel they can make a profit using AR, they're going to use AI art. Okay, so don't dismiss it. Okay, next question. Uh, let's see here. Caliber 50 Customs asks, Hey, first time on your live feed. Well, welcome to being here, Caliber 50 Customs. Uh, big fan of your artwork. Thank you. Long time viewer. Thank you. I've heard you talk about working for different comic book companies, but have you ever wanted to start your own comic book line with your own characters? I, I did talk about that before. Uh, I was working on uh, doing, uh, creating books about my kids' characters and possibly turning that into something else down the line. So maybe one day, maybe one day, but not right now. Definitely not right now. I'm not really interested in doing that right now. So maybe one day. It's one of those things, maybe. But I would say as of right now, no. Because also, I, I mentioned this before, I even if I were to do that, I wouldn't draw it. I wouldn't draw it. I would hire somebody to actually do the full artwork for it. Maybe I would do, maybe I would do, if anything, I would do... Um, if anything, I would do, uh, let's see here, covers for sure. Definitely all the covers I would be doing myself. Maybe a short story. Or if, you know, I could do it like picture book style. Like there, there's other ways around it, but I have no interest in doing sequential art. No interest in doing sequential art. Okay, sequential art, it's it's an animal all to itself. Because I could draw, you know, I could draw the most perfect turtle drawing here. But in comics, it's not about the perfect drawing. It's about telling the perfect story with your art. Telling a story with your art is way different than just making a pinup. It's just way different than me trying to draw the turtles here. Drawing the turtles in a sequential order where you could follow along, understand the story, get those emotional hits. It's very difficult for me. Some of you might come naturally. Some of you, will, you'll do a lot better than I did. Okay, but... Uh, it's a different animal. It's a different beast. So. I forgot where I was going with that. But <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so yeah. Maybe one day. Caliber 50 Customs. Maybe one day, but we'll see. And thank you for being here. Thank you for being in the first live stream. Hopefully it's uh, educational. To you. There you go. Next, from my buddy Brian Blevins. Good to see you again, my friend. I know writing and drawing are different, but Stephen King says he writes six pages a day. And when he gets a block, he writes six pages of another story. Do you think drawing different subjects in tandem helps to get through artist block? Uh, yes, I do believe that. Again, I mentioned before about uh, the Ken Lashley system. I don't know if he still do, does. I don't even know if he actually does this. Somebody told me he did this. Okay, so it's not like I heard this from Ken himself. But he actually works on multiple pages at once. So when he gets sick of one page, he'll throw that page aside and work on a different one. So you can apply that to yourself too. You, can, you guys can work on multiple pieces as long as you finish what you start. And when I say that, that long as you actually finish uh, your pieces. Because I wouldn't do that if you start doing that and you find you have 
like 10 drawings that are a quarter done a quarter done and then that's it right you never have a finished drawing I, I wouldn't go more than maybe three pieces so that when you get tired of one you throw it aside you start another one it might be a good practice to try like I've done that too in comics but I haven't uh, done that with what I'm doing recently See, I'm not even not even using a ruler, guys. No rulers for me. No rulers for me, guys. No rulers. I used to use uh, French curves, but now I'm just getting lazy. Getting lazy. Thank you very much, Brett. Uh, Brian. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, next question here, Muddy. Looking great, of course. Thank you, Muddy. I uh, hope you're feeling better. A little bit. I can feel it in my nose now. Right now, feel a little bit in the nose uh, right now. So, uh, how uh, do you have a favorite non-comic uh, style artist like Dali, Warhol, Kandinsky, Monet, Van Gogh, for example, or even uh, the greats further back, like the namesakes of these turtles, Leonardo, and all that stuff? Uh, a couple come to mind: Norman Rockwell. I think a lot of artists love Norman Rockwell. One of my favorite artists of all time, Norman Rockwell. I love his work so expressive so it's incredible incredible uh his work Norman Rockwell. uh and then uh there's an artist that i studied in, in um in a high school his name's caravaggio he, d he does like these big darks big contrasty style uh drawings or paintings and i, I tried to do it in his style before and it, it was fun but the one that I never really got, I did a little subject, I did a little piece on him. Uh, Mondrian. Have you guys heard of Mondrian? He's a guy who just puts like tape on a board. It's just lines. It's just squares. You know, that's the kind of art you're like, oh, you know, all these squares mean uh, life is uh, falling apart and all that stuff. But to the average person, it just looks like squares. If you guys have heard of Mondrian. Mondrian. So... That's one. That's definitely one. So off the top of my head, my friend, that, that's about all I can really think about. But yeah, great question. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more to some of these turtles here. And then we might just do one more stream, my guys, my guys as we draw all the supporting characters. Cause, so of course, we're going to draw Splinter. We're going to draw April O'Neil if we can. Shredder, of course. If we have time for Bebop and Rocksteady, we'll see. Um, I had a lot of energy going in. I could feel it. Kind of waning. If I'm not gonna, if I'm gonna be, uh, if uh, you know, I tell you guys how I feel. That's how I feel. I feel the energy going a little bit, just a little bit. Because I'm trying to avoid using Tylenol. Because I want to save it. I want to save it for when I really need it. Because, you know, there's a, in Canada, I don't know where it is in your, about in your part of the world, but there's a Tylenol shortage. Or there's a, there's a pain medication shortage in Canada right now. Everybody's getting sick right now. And uh, that's unfortunate. So, so I'm trying to avoid using those things if I can. So Casey Jones, for sure. Next question. From Prad Yam Sony says, "Hello, sir. I just wanted to know how you put your guidelines, and do you have any books for suggestion? Um, books for suggestion. If you're starting out, how do, you can't go wrong with how to draw comics the Marvel way. If you want to draw in this sort of style, if you want to draw in this sort of style, you can't go wrong starting there. It's a good starting point if you want to do that. And again, you can find it online. You'll find that online, and you can find the video version on YouTube." Uh, but the guidelines, it's just something I make up. I just make up, and that's from years of experience. Now. Years of experience. So keep practicing, and you'll get Okay, next question from my friend Knuckle Sandwich. Did you watch AEW Full Gear? And if so, what are your thoughts? So now it's time for my daily uh, wrestling uh, uh, part. I'm going to ask my friend Bob if he's watched uh, uh, Full Gear. I did not. And I'll tell you why. I, w I was actually intending on buying the pay-per-view. I fell asleep. I fell asleep around, oh, I think around 6 o'clock. 
and I didn't wake up till like nine. So I already missed a good chunk of it. So I missed a lot of it. I heard that it was a really good show. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, direction changing things in there. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Well, you know, it's a live sporting event. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, I, yeah, I heard it was a fantastic show. And especially that uh, Elite and uh, Dark, Dark Tri- or, uh, Death Triangle match. I, and now which is going to be best of seven, which is incredible. I can't, I can't wait. Um, so maybe I'll catch it later on. I usually like to catch the AEW pay-per-views, but yeah, I was just feeling too sick last night. So I actually didn't know what happened until I woke up before the stream. Yeah, I went straight to WrestlingObserver.com just to see what happened. And some very, very, very interesting things happened. Seeing William Regal turning heel. heel. And, uh, you know, so very interesting things. But I'm hoping to uh, see if I can still catch those matches. Especially the the uh, the Death Triangle uh, Elite match. I heard that that's crazy. That's crazy, right? So we will see, okay? And again, definitely we, we will be doing a wrestling piece later on. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. I know that. But again... What we're doing now, it's just having fun. Just having a good time. And I will educate you guys because the first one I'm going to do is a bloodline one. So at the very least, you're going to see me draw the rock for the rest of you. He's part of the bloodline or he's part of that family, the Noe family. So we'll, we'll see when I do those particular things. There. So I'm looking right now. Okay, I'm all right with how everything is looking right now. Let me just add a little dark here. So, a lot of hard rate in wrestling, that's right. So, as you guys know, I, I love AEW. Uh, I know not everybody does. But I don't understand why people are so tribal about it. You know, you like one or the other, and the other one's like, Ah, oh, that one sucks. I like both. I, I watch both. I enjoy both. Why can't you like both? What's wrong with like both? So, sometimes people like to pick a team. It's just like, you know what that's just like? It's just like Marvel and DC, right? You gotta like one and not the other. They say sucks. Marvel's the best. They say it's the best. Marvel sucks. I will admit, I do. Uh, I will go towards the underdog. I've never been a front-running guy. I would always go uh, support the ones that are behind because I want to see them succeed. I want to see them catch up. I want to see them have that recognition, and it's good for everybody as a whole. Competition breeds character, they say, right? Competition, it helps. And, uh, you know, a thriving AEW means good, better things for the wrestlers. It means they get options. That means they get more money. And it's good for everybody, right? So why not have a competing thing? Even Marvel and DC, right? You know, The Rock is saying all the right things. He congratulated Black Panther. And, of, and, I don't get why people like uh, they laugh at Black Adam because you know Black Panther made more money than them in a weekend, right? Than uh, their overall thing. I don't. I don't know why people are like. Ah, I don't get why they do that. Marvel has thirty movies behind them, plus, plus the sentimental value of having you know of uh, Chadwick Boseman in that movie, right? Of course, it's gonna make more money. Of course, it is, right? But people are like, yeah, you couldn't be Black Panther made more money than, than Black Adam in a single weekend. Wonderful feats. But is that so, so surprising? Like, really, seriously, is that so surprising? Of course it was going to make more money. Right? So, anyway. Anyway, guys. Okay, this is where I'm at right now. Now we're, we're going to go ahead into the... The extras. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to one more stream, guys. We'll do one more stream. Okay. Whenever I like to take a, like a mini break, just a few minute break, I'm like, let's let's just do another stream. And, and we'll do that. Okay. So again, guys, one more time. I'm going to tell you guys, uh, if you want me to answer your questions, everyone who's in live chat, everyone who came in a little later, if you want to answer, want me to answer, uh, answer your questions in today's stream, in the next stream, go to, go to the community chat. Okay. This is the top post. Answer your, ask your comment. Uh, put your comment in here. So again, if I go to my channel, if I go to community, and I go ask me anything while I draw turtles. Sunday edition. It's Sunday. 
click this comment here ask your questions here i am prioritizing all the comments i see here okay and some wonderful questions coming up here we will answer those in the next stream okay guys all righty thank you guys for joining in okay we got all the turtles done hooray we got all the turtles done now it's time to add all the supporting characters okay i love you all give me a high five and i will see you in a few minutes okay guys i'll talk to you very very shortly very very shortly okay let's go i'll be right back okay all right oh i'll, I'll show this off here. okay see you guys in a minute okay bye